Hello, this is a video tutorial for Rondalla Aragonesa, which is number six of the Danzas Españolas by the great Spanish composer Enrique Granados. I'm going to play through the piece and after, as always, I'm going to give you some tips on how to work on this piece. Hope you enjoy it. <laughs> So, as you can see, most beautiful piece, and exciting, and also a very special in the middle section. So, um, Enrique Granados was a great pianist and composer, but he also wrote some some music for violin and piano, and this is one of the one of the examples. Uh, he visit he went through the whole of Spain, capturing the flavors of each um, 
community, let's say. And this is from the region of Aragon, uh, Rondaya Aragonesa. It's a, it would be a typical dance of Rondaya. And this is just a, his way, his take on, on this dance. Now, as you can see, there's a lot of uh, pizzicato, especially at the beginning. I would strum it a little bit, like in a guitar. Which means the top of the finger needs to be a bit stronger. And then I normally just use my thumb to hold it. There are many ways of doing it. Also, using vibrato helps to uh, make it more resonant. Okay, after that we have those crosses which are the left hand pizzicato. I would also do it here. So, with the pinky. Quickly, get in the bow hole quickly. You can also do it just like this. Which is easier to get into the bow hole if you find it too tricky to get into the bow. <laughs> the way it's written is that it's kind of gaining momentum and it gets faster and faster by the end of it. Um, you don't have to do it as extreme as I did it, but still, it's quite nice to have that momentum. So, nice spiccato. So, it's a bridge between the pizzicato and the more legato le section later. So, those chords. Very soft hand, attacking all three strings at once, quietly. And then staying on the top note. You get more spiccato. Now these trills are really tricky. It's easier to do it than an apple. It's very, very quick. Don't need to do too many of these, but just... If it's very difficult, you can do it with the left hand. With maybe the first finger. Either way, very short bow though. Lots of practice on this is needed. And then I'm gonna play slowly this time. And then another chord. Don't forget when you're going up and past the fifth position that your thumb needs to go underneath to be able to reach properly and to play in tune. So that is this note on the A string, but without pressing. And then across this string. So when you see the hollow note, uh, like, a, like a square note, that is a harmonic on the spot where it tells you. Okay, more. Now, the secret in, of this uh, in Spanish music is to get that sound at the tip that sounds really similar to a pizzicato. You find there's a lot in, also in Paganini, but a lot in Sarasate. So this is just like a, a way, an introduction to this kind of techniques. So after doing that, stay at the tip.
This position again. With the chord. So. It's basically like a trill with two strings. So one, two, and then three. Good. Then we start the, the slower section. I like personally to do it on the G string. You get that duper sound that is really. Um, it works really well with this music. This string. And then here, you need to find your voice, you need to find the way that you want to play it. You don't have to do it super slow, but it's quite nice to enjoy every note. Not to rush at all. Etc. So all this section is just the beauty of the vibrato and the sound, how much boy you use. And this is pretty much the whole piece because after that it just goes back to the beginning. But I just want to address one more section which is the double stops from 102. There's lots of different possibilities of fingering. Um, I would prefer not to do the same fingering for all of them, but something that it's easy to do legato within the notes. And then faster. Just make sure that you tune it. I personally do one three. Because then there is no um, there's no necessity of changing position. really up to how you want to do it or your teacher wants to, you to do it. So that is the idea of the whole piece. Let's see if you can get that flavor of the Rondaya Aragonesa in this piece. It's truly beautiful. Enjoy!